Right, so I'm armed with some gentle persuasion tools. So I'm gonna go in there, see if I can get the locks to actually release in any way before I take some more drastic measures. That's right, we're back on the abandoned T5 project. Let's roll. Right, well today I got the lovely job changing this bloody thing. Okay, that's the wind giving a load of crap right here because it's a lovely little stall. Lovely noise you hear in this place. But at the moment, that's jammed solid and won't open, but this thing's back there with rust up here. More filler in here, and behind the back of there is a load of rust. But we've got a new panel just over there, so I picked that one up the other day. That's got to go on there. So, um, yeah, I suppose the fun is, see if I can break my way into that first, then we'll um, unbolt it and get it back on. So, yeah, that'll be my job for today. Right, so I'm armed with some gentle persuasion tools. So I'm going to go in there, see if I can get the locks to actually release in any way before I take some more drastic measures. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to climb in now. This is going to be clear of fun. Yeah. Yeah, nothing elegant going on here. Need it. Right. Right, now I'm going to crack on with this. So now I've got the boot open, which is just a hammer and a few other tools I want. I'm not going to tell you how I got that open because that was a bit of a mess. But I've just took the two side panels off. So that one's now off and that one was just unpopped on it. I need to take off the handles both sides, which is just a couple of screws underneath. Then I can drop this panel down to be able to gain access to the inside to where the wiring goes and uh, the bolts that hold the tailgate on. So I'll get on with that now. That should hopefully pull down enough now to be able to get inside. Not looking like it. What's up there? Clip there, I need to get out of that. Right, and that will then will pop. So uh, I'll be back in a minute once I pop that off because I can't really see nothing. All right, so managed to uh, unpick my wire in, which now looks like I'm going to have to change it because uh, I've got three plugs in this, and that one's only got other uh, boots only got two. And come through there, and they're a pain in the ass to get up the side there, but they're out. Now I can show you where they are. Those two bolts there are the same as the ones that go through the hinge. So let's undo those two, same on the other side, just stays, and then it should, in theory, left off. So, um, yeah, let's see what happens. Thing off, it's a pig of a heavyweight thing. I mean, you need two people ideally, you can do it without, but it'll just slide out the little holes on the top both sides. So now I'm going to change the wire and loom over, which I won't do on camera because it's an absolute ball ache, and then we'll lift this thing back in and see um, how I fit, I suppose. Right, what I've done, I've stripped the wire out of this door. Apart from this bit, I'm going to have to do some spicing or looms or change the barrel of the lock over because that one's someone cut. But, uh, I'm not going to put the wire back into this yet, so I think it's probably easier to actually put it back in in the vehicle where it's solid and secure without damaging it. So now it's a case of lifting it up and plonking it on. Uh, I've put myself a little bit of wood down here just to lift it up slightly. The gap I think is going to be about 7mm, and I think that's probably a bit more, but it's close enough. So that can sit there, you can sit on the boot there as we slide in the, the two holes and then do it back up in reverse of how it went on. Hopefully I'll catch it on camera. But I'm going to put on time lapse anyway because it's just easier than trying to mess around and need um, the person behind the camera there to help me lift it on. So, uh, yeah, let's get going, I suppose.
Now that's on with the, the bolts is nipped up a little bit for now. I've got it roughly in the end of the line. I think it needs to mess around a little bit more. But I'm going to put the stays on first so I can hold it up and then I can play, move it in, out, left, right, and wherever it needs to go. So, uh, yeah, let's get that done. Come here, right? Jump on your block. Oh, is it every time you do things? Oh, I don't want to talk tonight. You can never get back in. Here's this time. I've got someone on it for me. Instead of trying to do this at the same time. Oh! Up, 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 up. Really? Set up. That needs replacing, that's better. Well, it should be over to. Here, let go. Watch it hit on the head. You right? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, it's moving. Oh. Now a piece of wood can go out. And we can see about doing some alignments. Get out of the way, will you? Don't make sure my catch works first, am I? Now it'll be in a little paint. That's my catch working, so I don't know that works. No, so I can now shut the boot. Or can I? No, I can't. It's in too far of one side. Because you're a short ass. Right, you're going to have to put the hand there and push up under that. Like that, in a minute when I tell you to. I'm going to have to show these idiots what I'm up to, aren't I? Well, I'm not them idiots, I'm the idiot. I'm trying to put a socket on that, that way round. That really is never going to work, is it? Yes, I'm having one of them days. Two thousand years later. Right then, guys, got the uh, the wire in out of that tailgate over there. Don't ask how I got it out. It didn't want to come out at all. And that's that tailgate's junk. I just cut a hole in it. It's just so I could slide through because it catches on the inside of the trim. And I couldn't be bothered to mess around with that because I was just going in a scrap pile. Uh, but yeah, there's the wire loom. All that stuff. I'm having to change this one because this one's got the three plugs on the end instead of just the, the two, which is a pain in the butt, but oh well. I've got my wire threader coming through and it's in the hole there. So I'll go to the end, we'll tape it on and we'll see if we can uh, feed that through and hopefully it comes through quite easily. I'm hoping because this job's been an absolute nightmare at the moment. Nothing's actually going right. But enjoy the cars and stuff and I will get there. But let's... Uh, Stick you on time lapse, and hopefully, it'll capture some of the footage of me getting it through.
Right, so there's the wiring through, back into the place there. I've still got to route that through the inside, which comes in down there uh, and in behind the panel. And that, like that. So I'm going to get on with plugging it all in and stuff. I'll be back once I've plugged it all in. Uh, hopefully, it will work. I'm really mean, hopefully. As I said, a lock I'm having at the moment. I won't guarantee it, but hopefully. That's all I can say. One eternity later. All right, uh, yeah. Apologies. I've just cracked on with this. I've been running out of time to get this done and I've been having an absolute ball ache. I ended up cutting a hole out to get the door lock out because everything was sort of seized up so I took it out and had to separate it all. All because this little bit here is completely and utterly different between the two vehicles. This one's got extra plugs going into the stuff and I needed those plugs. So I had to do that. All the wiring's back in. Did the same way with that, just rooted it through. Same for the brake light. So everything now is back in. The trim panels are all back in, apart from a couple. So, um, yeah, I do believe I have a new tailgate. So, uh, looks so much tidier and neater and stuff. So let me just finish these bits off. I'll shut it up and we make sure it works, shall we? Right, as I said, let's uh, try it. I haven't actually even tried it, which is a bit of a schoolboy error, I suppose. I don't even know if I'm done. Right, now I've had all this sort of part and stuff. Probably go, um, all the catches and stuff working, no doubt, but I've never actually tried shutting it. This could go terribly wrong. Really terribly wrong. Oh well, let's try it and see what happens, shall we? Well, it shuts and it all still lines up. Will it open? Is the next question. Oh, thank God for that. That'll do. That will do. So yeah, I'm just gonna finish putting the trim panels back on and a couple of bits inside and then I've got to run. So I'm gonna be doing something else, not this, but this has taken me a hell of a lot longer than what I wanted. Because it's turned into a ball lake like everything I seem to be doing at the moment. I just have a having a nightmare job on a lot of stuff. Doesn't help as as we know because this one's been was sat around for quite a long time before it started getting used and stuff again. But joys of rescuing abandoned vehicles, I guess. One question for you guys, if you're still here now and stuff, and if you are, then I do appreciate it. Uh, I can't make my mind up what colour to paint this thing. It's all going to go one colour, but I can't make my mind up. So how about, give me some ideas in the comment section down below, what colour I should possibly paint it. And we'll see if I actually go along with one of your colours. I'll be very intrigued to see what colours people come up with. Because uh, I'm completely open to ideas in this one. And it'd be quite nice to involve you guys a bit in some of the builds I do. But, enough said. If you uh, like the content I'm doing and you want to follow along with the rest of it, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you like what I've done today, uh, and if you like to support the channel, hit the thumbs up button. It goes a long way to help us out. Pushes us up the algorithms, and then the more, alg more it pushes up the algorithms, the more views we get. And um, yeah, it goes from there and I can build a lot more stuff. So, until the next one guys, hope you're staying safe. Peace out.